If you own a home in Milton or have plans to purchase, you likely have heard many conflicting things about what is happening in the real estate market. Stick with us for the next few minutes as we are here to explain what is actually happening in Milton this summer and how that may impact your buying and selling decisions. We are in the summer months where historically houses have a longer days on market as people are enjoying vacations and the kids being out of school. There are typically fewer homes to choose from and prices tend to level out as demand usually cools as the temperatures rise. This June, the average sale price in Milton is sitting at $1,115,000, which is $2,000 lower than the last month and has been relatively flat since April. The number of sales that took place in June are down 16% over last month, so fewer homes have sold. The new listings coming on the market are up 15% over last month but are still sitting 5% shy of the five-year average for new listings coming to the market in June. So fewer people are deciding to sell their homes today, meaning less inventory is coming to the market, and buyers are still having a fight for the limited good inventory on the market in some market segments. With the cost of everything going up, many of us are tightening the budgets and making do with what we have more than we have over the last several years. We are seeing buyers being less compromising and taking longer to find that perfect home. With less choice and higher costs, they want to be sure that it's the right fit now more than ever. This is why you'll see some homes still with multiple offers and some on the market for a lot longer. The average days on market from listing to a sale right now is 14 days. This is up only one day from last month. In Milton, we are sitting at one and a half months of inventory, meaning it would take a month and a half to sell all the currently available homes on the market if no new homes were to be listed. One and a half months of inventory is still very much a seller's market, but with buyers being more selective in today's climate, this is the time to make sure your property shines its brightest if you still plan on selling your house this year. Interest rates have played a very important role in the real estate market, remaining in the headlines this year and how it's impacting the affordability of housing. The Bank of Canada met on July 12th and they have increased the overnight lending rate by 25 basis points. That puts the variable rate at 5%. This rate has gone up 4.75% since March of 2022. This has greatly impacted those with variable rate products and those with loans tied to their house like a home equity line of credit. This is the highest rates have been since 2001 and the Bank of Canada has not given any indication that they plan to cut rates anytime soon in their efforts to curb inflation. The next rate announcement is scheduled to take place on September 6th. It's important to note that this does not impact the fixed rate mortgage mortgage product that many current buyers are opting for at this time. However, fixed rates have also gone up several times over the last year, despite much speculation that they would decrease over the summer. As more people have vacations planned and other things in their minds than just buying and selling homes, combine that with the interest rate increases we've seen of late, and this could swing our market in a number of different directions in the coming weeks. Buyers that are motivated to move due to natural life changes still play a large role in why people in Hollywood and specifically Milton choose to make a move. Those needing more space is common in our marketplace with the average age of Milton being between 30 to 44 and many people relocating and planning routes here to raise a family. Looking at general market trends, we've noticed that despite some challenges, 2023 remains a good year to invest in real estate with long-term appreciation, steady rental income, and the opportunity to hedge against inflation, it still is a good time to make a move. But remember, every real estate journey is unique, and these figures represent broad trends. So as always, we're here to help you, and we would love to guide you through your real estate process. Reach out to us below to discuss your own unique needs.